name is Tracy Morrell. I'm a Atlanta-based artist, curator, and I'm also a project manager for a lot of arts organizations. Nothing makes me happier than creating and being in this space. I figure I am my happiest in my studio. Yeah. When I started painting, it was just so that I could have, um, bring balance in my life because I was working in the music industry. It was very chaotic and I needed to get out. Um, but it was not a quick, uh, it wasn't happening quick enough. So I started painting and the tranquility from that kind of um, steered me into painting on a consistent basis. But in 2009, I had my first show at PB&J Gallery in Kirkwood. Okay. Um, my best friend handled everything. Um, I would have parties at my house and my artwork be in the house. And I ran out of space and she's like, you need to, you, your work needs to be in a gallery. And I was like, uh-huh, yeah. I have a gallery, they wanna see your work. Uh, okay, Tuesday, three o'clock, bring all your work. And I showed them my work and they're like, okay, uh, we have an opening, our first show of 2009, we wanna open with you. And I had my first exhibition and it was amazing. And that was the first time I really had the thought like, oh wow, I could do this. This feels great. Yeah, yeah. The waiter. You know, there needs to be a master plan. <laughs> it needs to be executed. Um, a plan that addresses the areas. Atlanta's doing good on a lot of er in, a, in a lot of areas, but in some areas, it's it's not. It's easy to create work here. We have um, we have a, a, there are art stores here, so you can get materials. There's studio space available that's reasonable for now. So there's places where you can create. There's gallery shows and opening every single week. So there's, there's places to exhibit your work. But if you want this to be your full time su supporting, you have to look outside Atlanta for that. Um, I have multiple jobs and multiple projects that I take so that I can not have to worry about buying supplies that I, I want to buy. Um, then I don't have to worry about making my studio uh, rental payments. Um, yeah, it, it's a great place to create, but it's not a great place for artists to sustain themselves fully as an artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the artists that I know they're doing really, really well, they're not doing it from sales in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. They're doing it because they have multi and that may be the life of, of artists, artists themselves, but I know in other communities, artists are, in other cities, artists are able within their community support themselves and raise families and not have to look outside. And that's, that's something that I see that we have to work on. Cohesiveness within the black art scene, it's not there. So there are opportunities are being missed left and right. I mean, and there are enough black developers that that conversation should be an easy conversation, you know? They're black engineers, they're black architects, you know, they're here. Atlanta is rich in talent across the board in every single field whatsoever. I mean, a black doctor opens his office, hey, new office? Have you looked at this artist's portfolio? Because I really feel like if you're into this type of vibe where you want, you know, traditional work, or are you looking for something more conceptual? I mean, it's all here. But there's no unifying directory or a unifying um, entity that is the go-to place where, or even uh, making the inroads and, and making sure that these different areas for exposure recognize who's here. Um, so the role of an artist is to reflect life. So I'm very clear that the type of paintings that I create are paintings that have the slow down the mind, that involve, that um, it's, it's female centric. Um, it, I, I'm showing the, the black female form the way that I see the black female form and in a silhouetted form. So I feel like my job is very clear to um, 
present an image that I want to 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 fill in the narrative of what black females First are. First of all, as artists, we needed to do a better job on letting people know that we're here outside of our circles. As uh, Atlanta's very uh, cliquish, so we we stay in our silos. I mean, it's a comfort thing. Um, so, as a community as as a whole, they need to invest in support artists, like buying their work. Um, and once they and if they if they run out of wall space, you know, they're gifts. <laughs> um, you know, artists been taken out of schools, and I think uh, we're seeing how generations, the younger generations, are going to impact. But we're not going to feel the full brunt of that until 10, 15, 20 years down the road. Um, we need art back in the schools. Um, creativity is a way that um, human beings solve things. And when we remove that out of the school system, then we are taking away options um, from developing minds. So putting art back into the schools, supporting art programs which hire artists to be in the community and serving the community. There's so many ways that we can, um, as a whole, support artists on a greater level. But it, it starts with actually buying the 